we would think if we were analyzing a company's performance, one of the first things we would want to do is get a good understanding as to how they're performing comprehensively. So we recommend going into the business performance scorecard, whereby you can perform a comprehensive analysis that looks at a company's performance from liquidity, profitability, asset efficiency, and growth ratios, along with the common size analysis. So I'm going ahead to select business scorecard. And now we have this analysis. First and foremost, a very basic summary showing overall performance. These stars pertain to how this company compares against industry peers. One star meaning bottom 10% of company performance benchmarked against industry peers. Two stars is your client or your company is at the bottom 25% of your industry peers. Three stars is at the median. Four stars, top 25%. And five stars, your company resonates with the top 10% of industry peers for any given metric. And this is showing overall performance ratings. We can see an overall uh, summary of liquidity performance and no red flags. We can see overall asset efficiency performance with two red flags, one in inventory and uh, two in sales to net working capital and then profitability performance showing uh, a weakness in return on assets. Now as we proceed, we can go into a further uh, in-depth analysis to see exactly which ratios are performing how. So we can see in the liquidity ratios, we have current ratio, current liabilities to net worth, current liabilities to inventory, total liabilities to net worth, and the quick ratio. For each ratio, you get six points of data, one from your company and five from the industry. These are not averages. These are medians and distribution points. And this really allows you to understand how far above or below the median your client or your company is amongst their industry peers. And the system will place you graphically along the continuum and it will give you a concise verbal description as to how this company is performing on this metric and how they compare against their industry peers. We can see if we're scanning where various red flags exist. In the quick ratio, we're closer to the median, though trailing our peers uh, by about 10%, um, at the 40, 40, 40th percentile. But we can see major red flags here, total liabilities to net worth, 34th percentile. Uh, current liabilities to inventory is showing top performance. And current liabilities to net worth uh, 47th percentile and for the quick ratio our client is at the 59th percentile. So this is helping us really just quickly scan and identify where these weaknesses exist in financial performance and as we proceed we can see likewise red flags in asset efficiency particularly inventory turnover and sales to network and capital so forth and profitability And likewise, this is just really helping you gain a good understanding as to where to focus your energy and time to help this company improve its performance. And within common size, this is um, a, a, an analysis that allows you to compare your company's statement or that of your client directly to the industry while seeing a variance analysis, again, easily viewable in dollars or percent and an easily viewable and tabular or graphical views. So we can see the difference between what various expenses look like for a company and for the industry. Likewise for the balance sheet. Reports are easily downloadable into PDF. When you do, you have your full PDF report, again, labeled for your client and for your advisory firm, giving you your overall summary and all of the information that you would have seen in the online report and thus allowing you to convey the benchmarking performance as you've seen it in PDF format. Now I'll return here to the report list again just recapping the business scorecard is the module that you would want to go to to perform that comprehensive analysis. We've identified some weaknesses in asset efficiency and uh, a number of other metrics.